this is Fabi from Elvetti and Illumi Shade and you are watching Interview Under Fire. Cheers! Bobby, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep things very simple. We're gonna keep things super relaxed here. Yes. I want to welcome you back to Interview Under Fire, <laughs> and welcome back to Dallas, of course. And and thank you again for just taking the time to sit with me today. I know it feels like like I said earlier, we feels like we've been longtime pals, and then finally meeting you in person. It hasn't hit me that you're actually sitting in front of me, so it's really amazing to actually get to do this in person now. What an exciting way, right, to kick off 2003 on this tour alongside Ami and Gatherum and Seven Spires. First off, uh, how are you? I didn't ask you that question. How has this tour been? I mean, let's start there, because it's right, a lot of yeah. exciting stuff, right? Okay. Actually, yeah, so thank you so much for having me again, actually, and this time in person. That's super nice, actually. It's always nice to be in the same room yeah, than right? online. Works, but same room. I, I, I really, like really love I that. I feel like I've been doing too many of those. I mean, it's not a bad thing, yeah. but this is the interaction, uh, getting the chance to actually speak with the people yeah. who make the crap that you love to listen to, you know, so. Yeah, absolutely, anyway, so it makes a difference. Well, thank you. Um, we definitely had a very, very beautiful day today. I mean, the weather is perfect. It's perfect out there. Yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. might as well just not even like, just go out on the parking lot and just. <laughs> and it, I mean, it's just perfect. Right there is a little river. So yeah. I was chilling yeah. there a little bit. It was perfect. So uh, there was a, a <laughs> band here earlier, Earlier, I was going to say last summer, Dragon Force played. Oh. And the front man of Dragon Force, I think after his final song, he leaped into the pond. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. He did. We I'm were joking. Who will I'm be the first one? I'm not giving you any ideas, but that's something to think about. You know, I mean, I mean, you guys have got, got another Texas date tomorrow. But I yeah. also want to say happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you. Uh, what is it? Your Dirty 30? Trust me, it's this is the best decade of your life. This take it from me, I turned thirty a couple of years ago. It's I, I get scared, you know, as the numbers climb up, you can't kind of lose track of your age. But yeah. how was how was that? You know, getting <laughs> I saw the picture of you and the cake on Instagram yeah. and it was just Yeah, that was a huge, huge surprise because we were in a place where there were not really that many coffee places around yeah. or so to maybe get one, you know, like <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, okay, I will just eat cake in the next day somewhere. I would treat myself whenever we find a place. But then on stage, uh, it was uh, Jonas had his guitar solo, and then suddenly he got interrupted by Tamara, actually, our tour manager. And she was like, We have a birthday girl. And then they started singing, playing, and then they came with the cake. And it was, it was really overwhelming, actually. It was, I really didn't expect it because we usually don't really do that on, on stage. But yeah. on this tour, everything is anyway a little bit different. So I think it just fit in perfectly, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, again, also shout out to Tamara, your uh, tour manager. She's she's doing an amazing job, and uh, it's really cool. And by the way, I don't know if this is maybe your first time. Have you ever been interviewed by your own patrons before? Actually, <laughs> actually yes. Maybe, you have. Yes. Okay, okay. You're like the third one. Third one. Okay. I really that's appreciate good. it. That's good. Um, this, I wonder if that makes awesome. that experience even more unique. And I think I'm a yeah. wild berry. If I'm not mistaken. You are, I think you're a wild bear, yeah. yeah. And I've been following like all your amazing work on the <laughs> on the Patreon. And people who don't know, subscribe to Fabi's Patreon. She has some amazing covers. A lot of inside stuff about Illumishade and Elevati that you may not be able to get mm. on the outside. Yeah, really but, trying. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. no, thank you. And of course, so a popular topic I always touch on with our awesome guests is Texas. Okay? Because all right. this has been a popular destination stop here in Dallas for hundreds of bands mm -hmm. you know, over the years. I know the last time we talked about it, last time you were here was 2019. It was called the Gas Monkey at that time, yep. but now it's amplified. It looks way better now than it did four years ago, I feel like, with the whole renovation. Mm -hmm. And the crowd has always been so great, too. I remember I was, I was actually a fan in the crowd the last time you guys oh, were here. Were. Yeah. And what is it about Texas, Fabi, that brings you guys back? Oh. I know this is the first North American tour in four years. I mean, you've been yeah. on, you get almost half a decade, but yeah. tell me, <laughs> actually, what do you think of when you hear the word Texas? What do you love so much about it? What keeps bringing you guys back? Oh, I would say the sun <laughs> and barbecue, <laughs> kind of. And I think you got both tonight, actually. So the sun's yes. perfect, and then you got the barbecue. Yes, actually, the whole band is excited about the dinner here tonight. Uh, and we just could get some sun. It's warm. We got our... I, I got my skirt out. Uh, I put my winter jacket back in the big suitcase, you know, so... You probably need it again after... Here now. Give it like two days. The weather changes here in Texas, but this is the perfect day to be here. Well, let's see. Let's see about tomorrow. I have mean... You, 
have you checked the food menu yet here? Yes, yes, I just ordered my food for tonight. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're in good hands. Now, uh, before I move on, I got one word for you. I know you've been to Dallas before. Bucky's. Have you heard of this name? Bucky's? Bucky's. B U C C E E S. No. Okay. I have to tell you this because I know you guys just got to Texas. Yeah. But let me tell you what this is. This is a gas, this written here, gas and convenience store turned chain of super travel centers with kolaches, barbecue, jerky, homemade fudge. It's like a museum. It's a popular stop for every band. We had Crypta on last week uh, okay. when they came through and they could not stop talking about it. And Bucky's, it's not that far from here. I'm sure you will stop oh. at least one of those uh, uh, while you're still in Texas. But keep that in mm -hmm. mind. Let tomorrow Bucky's. know. Let your band members know. Uh, it's, 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 it's like a restaurant and the uh, you can buy stuff. I don't even think you can call it. It's a, it's um, a it's a, it's a giant building with just everything a tourist would want from Texas. It's it's like a Bucky's. it's a destination stop. So. You think we will be close? I mean, we will also go to Austin. Houston. Austin. Oh yeah, Austin, Houston. You're gonna be stopping at those cities. Yeah. I guarantee you, you will see it. it it's it's got Bucky's. a beaver on the front. He's wearing a hat. And it's, right. like, it's a yellow, it's a yellow, uh, almost like a, a yellow sign. Mm -hmm. It's massive. You, you, you can't ah. miss it, okay? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you more about it. Anyway, All right. so. Yes. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, because I'm telling you about what popular destination stuff. I wonder, do you have something like that in Switzerland? If I were to come to Switzerland, what's something that stands out? It's like, yeah, you have to go. Oh, uh, wait, that's, <laughs> it's hard to, to pick one, but uh, I would say you should go to Gruyere and eat some fondue. Oh, that's our, that already sounds good. I'm yeah. already making that mental list in my head. So Yeah, this is I've, the best place. I've never been to Zurich. I, I actually have friends who live out there, so I'm ah, going to yeah. ask them about that. So. so come and visit. Now, oh, you bet I will. Now, two nights ago, you were in Mesa, Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. I know you're reaching towards the last leg on this tour mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Fabi, are you getting any, time, get, getting any time to spend time in any of these cities? I know you're performing, but... Are you able to yeah. actually visit them, you know, getting time spent for yourself? Uh, it always depends where the venue is and how the day schedule looks like, if we have sound check or not. And I, I actually had quite some fun during this tour, like yeah. walking around. For example, the only thing I was a little bit disappointed was when we went to LA, we all yeah. expected we will go to Santa Monica and enjoy, but it was just raining, raining. Uh, okay. So yeah. there we couldn't uh, go yeah. where we really wanted, yeah. but otherwise, sometimes I see things, sometimes I just pretty much see a coffee place because I need to work the whole day <laughs> and the venue, yeah. you know. Um, so it's a little bit different, but I try to go for a walk if possible. Yeah, you know, what are some essentials that, while you're on the road, what are some essentials that you take with you while you're while you're touring? What's the one thing that you have to take with you that's something that's important? Oh, my contact lenses. <laughs> <laughs> I just got, uh, I'm just wearing my new prescription oh. today as we're talking right now. But yeah. you gotta take your contact lenses. <laughs> it is, I mean, oh, I guess I can. You gotta be able can, to see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can probably buy them. I have quite strong. Uh, so it's sometimes they, they don't have it like if, if for example I need to be careful that I really have them with me in the hand luggage and not in the big luggage just in case if you know because I, I couldn't go on stage without them and yeah. I don't know how it is in America but in Europe it's not that easy to find them just in the normal optician stores yeah. so that's why this is my number one all right number two maybe I'm adding a number two okay give me some of your favorite foods you've tried so far I know you're, like I said, oh. we're in the last leg of this tour here. What's one thing that you love that, that, mm -hmm. you know, that stood out on this tour so far? I remember. I love asking about food. Like we're, in a, <laughs> yeah. we're, in a, we're in a place that serves amazing food. So that, that has, Can't that's Can't wait that's a for given. tonight. Um, I think my favorite one I had so far was an avocado toast with a salad. And it was just a perfect dressing. And the, the, the bread of the avocado toast was so Mm, crunchy and with a little bit of olive oil and some chili flakes and I was like in heaven. Where did you where did you try this? Where Actually in Canada. <laughs> oh really? Okay. Yeah. 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 This uh, this this and I mean of course the voodoo donuts. Shout out to the avocado toast. <laughs> yes. And the voodoo donuts. Yeah. Voodoo donuts. Voodoo is donuts that? is this 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 chain. Wait. Yes. Yes. I know what you're talking about. It's been so long since I've actually even went to one of those chains. I know what you're talking about now. I, 
I think tomorrow we should be close to one or something like that. Rafi said something because we're crazy about voodoo donuts. If we're close, we just buy and buy and buy. If you're not crazy about voodoo donuts, what's wrong with you? You exactly. have to be crazy about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I mentioned this is the first tour for you guys in 2023. Not long before that, Fabi, you guys just got done with that European tour, right? And yeah. now you're on the road again. Mm -hmm. Are there, you know, Fabi, for someone like you who's been on the road a lot lately, are there physical and mental hurdles on going on these multiple tour runs like you have? I know, you know fresh off the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. You've also been doing this for years. What's it being like being on the road as opposed to like when you're at home? Are you ready to go back out again when you're at home? It's Because it's back to back, I feel like. <laughs> you haven't had a chance to be at home as much. Mm -hmm. I think I appreciate both times because it's just very different periods of life because yeah. if oh. you're on tour, it has nothing to do with your life at home. You have a totally different rhythm. Uh, different mindset, I feel absolutely, like. Absolutely, absolutely. But I also, now it's great to be on the road for five and a half weeks, but I'm also looking forward to be home again, <laughs> calming down, have your own shower, yeah. have your own bed that is not moving, have some privacy in the end. Um, and not, for me also on tour, always to find a space with, um, f for my laptop to work. Uh, can be, you know, you always have, need to take it, yeah. set it up, need to see for electricity. So at home everything is set, so I also enjoy that. It's just a different time to do different kind of work than on tour. And I want to talk about, let's get on this tour because this is it. I feel like it's an unconventional and maybe an unfortunate position for Elevati because this mm. tour is happening and, and I, I, I can wait to get about get to this because this tour is happening without your insanely talented frontman, Shigel Glansman, and uh, shout out to him, of course. Yeah. But Fabi, you and Elevati have been killing it. I mean, I've been closely following the, the fan reception and the amazing performances in these different cities and you guys are really playing, like I feel like in his honor of not being there you know tell yeah. me more about this the challenges of performing without a leading frontman like him yeah. while touring a different country and you have taken that lead you you know <laughs> i feel like there could not be a more fitting person to take that role are you were you nervous about it were you excited oh, yeah. about it you know i feel like this also brought the uh brought the band together even more I know it's a loaded question, but I, yeah. you know, it's, it's an important one. Yeah, it was really for everybody shaky, shaky. We didn't know until the last moment, yeah. is it possible or not? Because if you're in this difficult family situation and you need to be away for five and a half weeks, it just, it's, it's a no brainer, nobody could do it. So um, we were like, okay, uh, we're here, what to do? <laughs> let's, just, let's just do it. I yeah. mean, and you're doing come it. Come on, come on. We, yeah, and we didn't, we didn't know what to expect because, yeah, Krikal is not here. He's the main guy. We didn't know how people would react, but just we got this so much love and so much support from everybody, and just so much understanding. We were overwhelmed. Actually, I remember on the first show, it was in Baltimore, when I said, hey guys, we are in this difficult situation without Kriggy. And somebody just shouted, we love you. And then everybody started cheering and I had goosebumps because I really didn't know what to expect on this show. And people were just Man. so supportive. Of course, for us, it's very crazy without Kriggy. For the people, it's very crazy that we're here without Kriggy. But we have um, two really cool singers joining us. Adrian Singers, and yeah. Yuka, Yuka, who, man, I, I, I've seen the live footage. I can't wait. I yeah, can't wait. They're killing it. Again, again, I, I know I'm a journalist, <laughs> but i got to be a fan here just for a second because I can't wait to see this, this yeah. new, like, Envision lineup. Maybe guest vocals on a future Elevati song. I don't know. I don't who know. Knows? I'm just throwing things out I there. mean, we're having so but much fun, so yeah. why not? Yeah, yeah. and uh, also, I want to, we're mentioning people, right? I want to also mention your new member, your hurdy gurdy uh, Annie. player, yeah. Annie, who took over after Michalina left the band. Mm -hmm. Talk about Annie for a minute. Uh, I wonder what new element does Annie bring into the lineup that Elevati may not have had before in the past? Oh, yeah. Because she's been great, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it always changes when somebody leaves, somebody new comes, gives always a new chance as well, right? Yeah. And uh, she is just a sunshine. She is really nice. Uh, we are really enjoying uh, our time. We go also for walks sometimes. And <laughs> I, li I like having girls in the band, so I'm very happy that uh, there's a new girl coming. Uh, 
or came actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, absolutely. Uh, and what what I saw, I mean, so far, I'm sure I'll say it tonight is chemistry between all of you guys. Yeah. And it's. I wonder if that also makes like challenging because there's a lot more people on stage. Mm -hmm. You have to mm -hmm. direct certain you know things that happen in certain songs. I, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We also have Julie uh, fitting That's right. in. Yeah. Um, and I mean, she is awesome. Also, she's playing so well, and with without big rehearsals, just nailing it. It's very impressive, and she's also very nice. And I, I love it that we're we're four girls on the road, and I, I really love that. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, from folk metal to symphonic metal to melodic death metal. I uh, mentioned the other two bands, Seven Spires and Arnhem Gatherum. This is an important tour for a lot of heavy metal fans, Fabi. You know, you got you got some seasoned acts from a whole movement of music. I ask a lot of questions about chemistry between different members of the same band, right? Like like we just did about, you know, you and your and your band members. But I want to ask about the chemistry between the different bands oh, yeah. on this tour mm -hmm. because I feel like every band each band complements the other. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Tell me about, you know, do you think it takes chemistry for tours like this to work? Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's always so super important. I mean, we're a whole tour party, right? We're always together for yeah. like I don't know four or five weeks here now in in the US, and um, it's super important that you like it's it's not only within the bands but also within the crews, you know, yeah. to 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 make the day work with the sound check, with all the bands, with the setup and so on. And uh, we really have such a nice groove with everybody actually this package has been amazing so that's why we really didn't know what to expect uh, from from this US tour or North American tour and mm -hmm. it just kind of su su exceeded our expectations, expectations yeah. Kind of. yeah I yeah. mean I mean I, you, I don't know you, like you said you told me you didn't see the line up up there wait till the night no I didn't see I it mean, yet you're gonna, yeah that's it'll cool. exceed your expectations yet again <laughs> now real quick I'm gonna I'm gonna switch topics here because Illuma Shade uh -huh. Right. Uh, tell me more about this. What does the future look like? I know you have that new song, Him, that's out right now. Mm -hmm. But you also had that upcoming tour with Zandria and Delane coming up. Like, right. I see it like another tour back to back for you. Well, yeah. You know? We only will play three shows there. Yeah. Um, we could not make uh, all of them work, but we're super happy that we can join for three shows in April and have our own headlining show, the first yeah. one in the Netherlands as well, like combined. Um, and yeah, we are working a lot also, actually also on this tour. I also sometimes yeah. work for Illumishade as well when there's a break. Um, we it's definitely have actually yeah. quite some things coming. Actually, we're working on new music, new projects, new plans. So. Oh, it's, I'm very excited uh, that yeah. it, it, it rolls more than ever, actually. We've, we've done a lot of shout outs because I want to give a shout out to your uh, pa patrons as well because, uh. I mean, and that community is just growing and growing. We talked a year ago and it's mm. it's been growing so much since that day. It's really cool to see. <laughs> How's uh, life in the vocal coaching department going? Are you still doing that? Oh, yeah, I do it. Um, but, uh, for example, now on tour, I, I skip it, of course. Uh, yeah, of course. But I, I like to do this on the side because when I'm home, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I always also learn when I teach, so um, like f about myself or I see another approach from another person and I love to, to suck this in and maybe make it my own. So, so I really love teaching. Uh, yeah, if it wasn't for Marky, thank you Marky for the hookup to getting actually. Fabi on the show. So <laughs> she's a student of yours so, yeah. and she's doing an amazing job with on, on her side with Alia Tempura. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. And it's really, it's yes. amazing to see the results on what you've been doing too and, and, uh, it's, and it's catching on. Thank you. Now, as we finish this off, Eluveti, you know, uh, if my math is correct, I've been following this, you know this, I've been following this band for so long. This is the 20th year for that band. And I feel like you guys have also one-upped yourselves as a band with those new singles, Adas and Exile of the Gods, which that those songs are uh, what, just six months, barely. Yeah. Having said that, this is also the first new song since 2019's Atignados, which I love that record. Still a song in rotation today. Yeah. Fabi, I don't know what you can and cannot say. <laughs> Those two songs that I mentioned, can they serve as a sneak peek into what's to come mm -hmm. on a future Elevated album? Or are we barely scratching the surface here? I don't know what you can and cannot say. <laughs> I'm going to give the floor over to you. And will we hear those songs tonight? 
Oh, for sure. <laughs> also, that's that's for sure. <laughs> uh, I think I can't say too much. Okay. But uh, I think that's just a small glimpse on the surface, yeah. and we will dive into it on the new album. But good things take time, so. Yeah, patience. This is just the means key. we have to do another follow-up <laughs> conversation. So, I, and I can't wait. It's it's always nice to have things like that to forward to. You know, you got you got Illumishade, Illuvati. You got another tour coming up. You got the rest of 2023 hey. coming up. You know, it's yeah. it's also I want to give you this moment to also celebrate your successes. You know, because oui, oui. I feel like <laughs> I learn a lot about myself as much as I learn from my guests and I really appreciate that that's why I wanted to start the, this is why I have this outlet is to give people like you a chance to talk about what you love doing <laughs> Bobby you. do you do you look back on the things that you've, you've taken a part of in your life or are you just someone who just focuses on the future oh because you've, yeah. you've done so much up to this point well and I'm gonna end the interview on that so okay. you, you take all the time you need to answer okay that well <laughs> <laughs> putting right. on the spot well, of course, I, I want to look into the future, but I also try to learn to live in the moment, to enjoy actually also the process of whatever we're in. Uh, yeah. I think that's, that's my main goal, to actually enjoy what I'm doing right now, but of course have a good plan for the future and planning things ahead. Yeah. Now, as with, <laughs> now final question. Okay. To all your fans out there, the patrons, do you have any final words, any shout outs, anything else you'd like to plug in or mention as far as the Luveti, Illumishade, vocal coaching, uh, uh, any, everything and beyond? Like uh, what, anything you want to say to the camera? For uh, okay, well, thank you so, so much for <laughs> watching this interview until now. I appreciate it. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for your support. I don't know if you came to our shows or not or whatever, but just to see that people were so understanding here on this tour and are so supportive and show their love to us, uh, to Elveti, means really the world to us. We really didn't know what to expect and this was really like overwhelming for us actually. Um, so thank you for just being here, following us on our journey. Elveti, Lumishate, thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you <laughs> and Krigel, we love you. Stay safe yes. out there. We look forward yes. to having him back absolutely. in the lineup and because absolutely. you guys are absolutely, you're crushing on this tour. Fabi, thank, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey, cheers. Go crush Woo. it out there. <laughs> I'll be out there going crazy in the mosh pit. Yes. You'll probably see me. Awesome. So, and I'll see you next time, okay? <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.